Hey everybody, it's been a while. I'm glad I'm finally back doing some uh, figure reviews. And today we're going to be looking at the Mafex Cyborg Superman. I know this came out a long time ago, so did a lot of the other figures that I'm going through, but you know, it's nice to have a backlog of figures to go through. And I've been really enjoying this guy. He's my first Cyborg Superman figure. We haven't really gotten enough of those, I don't think. Um, uh, I know that he's a character that's kind of been done everything that he needs to do in the comics he kind of served his purpose and we don't see a whole lot of him anymore as much as other superman villains but i've always really enjoyed uh cyborg superman and hank henshaw i think he's a cool design uh helped created by one of my favorite comic book artists dan jurgens um i say that about a lot of my comic book artists that i like though they're one of my favorites but i have a long list so um, anyway, let's get into this. Uh, first, let's go through the accessories. Um, we have his arm cannon, which uh, his arm actually comes off. We'll do that one last. Let's go through everything else first. Uh, we have some alternate hands here, which are really nice. We got a pointing one, some flight ones, um, some grabby ones, and some other kind of reaching ones like kind of like that Jack Kirby look and we have these beams here for his cannon it's a really tight fit but looks pretty cool I'll take this one out and let's see here his arm comes off I believe let's see right here I've done it before I just want to be careful I don't break anything ba -ba -ba, there we go Peg comes off, and you just stick this one in here. There you go. Very neat looking accessory. I like the detail and everything with the the tubes and all that. It looks really cool. We'll take it off so we can get a closer look. Um, you can kind of tell that they were um, inspired by the Terminator with this design of the character. I believe Terminator 2 had come out around the same time they were doing the Death of Superman movie, and it was very popular. Um, I believe that's why. Um, yeah, like I said, I really like the detail on this thing. It looks really cool. So now that we got those out of the way, we can uh, get to the figure. So we'll get these accessories out of the way. But now that we got the accessories out of the way, um, let's take a quick look at the figure. The only other accessories that the, this figure has is um, the regular, you know, Mafex stands and everything, which I know a lot of people complain about because they're so loose. Um, so I always get like a little, little screwdriver and just go through and tighten these up and it helps out a lot. But yeah, they could be a lot better, especially for the price that you pay for these guys because these figures are often, you know, a hundred bucks a pop. I really like this cape. That's cool. So we'll go over the sculpt first. So let's do a little zoom in here. So let's see here. I really like the way this figure's built. You know, I think they did a good job reutilizing the parts from the other Superman figure, which I do not have, but uh, I'd like to get it someday. And I really like how, like, seamless, like, you know, a lot of parts of these uh, Mafex figures look. You know, they're they're built really well. Still don't know if it justifies $100 for the price tag. But, you know, you are, these are imports. So, and, and I do get it that they are a little bit more um, expensive to make. I really love this cape. I love how big it is and everything. It very much so matches the artwork of that era. You got the S on the back. Um, there's a little bit of paint scuff or not scuffing, but like a little bubble of extra paint under his S there. I might try to clean that up. But I just don't want to leave a mark. So, you know, I really love the details though on this guy, you know, the little tubes and everything. It, it's a very cool looking figure and it makes me wonder how the Mafex, uh, Terminator skeleton is going to turn out, which I know is coming out. At the time I'm recording this, I think it's just coming out this week. It's starting to ship. I've seen some pictures pop up from around the internet. So, oops, don't get stuck on me. I don't want to. There we go. But yeah, really, 
really detailed figure. Oops. Losing a hand here, too. Um, I love this head sculpt right here. This head sculpt. Let me pop the head off here. Does it come off? Yep, it comes off. Okay. I want to be careful. You know, we'll kind of just lean him up against there because I really want to show you this head sculpt. It's pretty much the same one as the... It's pretty much the same as the, the Jim Lee type head sculpt that we got uh, with the Hush line. And I hope that we get one that looks more like the artwork from that era, from that kind of the Death of Superman era. Um, because uh, they did do that with the black suit Superman. They, they gave him a slightly different head sculpt that matched more of that era so i hope that we get something like that soon but for now this works just fine you know especially for this guy you know it's not his whole face but um for articulation uh they always it's pretty much the same as all the other mafex figures that i own uh which is really good you know not everything moves how you want it you got you know ankle pivots and you know you can get all these dynamic poses out of them way more than you really need for a superman figure but that's great because you can get him in some good stuff here and all that. And, you know, it's obviously nothing's going to touch like amazing Yamaguchi or anything like that. But this still works really well just for for what you have for like kind of a, a more basic type action figure. But I really like the, the articulation on this guy and the attention to detail and whatnot. The head goes up, down, side to side cape kind of gets in the way but not too bad i mean you don't really need to get his head moving that much cape is wired so you can get in all kind of all kinds of really good poses um he's got an ab crunch so we'll take a look at that and he goes down about that far goes back that far and let's see what else he can swivel Kind of like that Marvel Legends uh, new Spider-Man body that they're using on a lot of figures, which is really good. Um, the ankles do kind of look a little bit weird with the ball pay, ball joints in there, but not too bad. Um, you know, you get a lot of really great range out of it. Like I said, ankle pivot, articulated toes, everything's double jointed. You got butterfly joints up here in the shoulder, you know, cut right here up at the bicep. Really great articulation on this guy. Really enjoy it. And back to the regular pose. So with that, we got all that out of the way. Let's do a size comparison. Get him kind of standing up here. Pose. Oh, don't, don't fall over on me. So we'll zoom back out for this one. Make sure we get everybody in full scale. There we go. And first, we'll put him next to the Mezco 112 Man of Steel Edition Superman. Um, if you guys remember from the, my review of him, I wasn't too terribly impressed by him. But, you know, um, still not a bad figure. I just think the suit could have come out a little bit better, and I think he needs to be a little taller. Because he's shorter. Even even for a Mafex figure, that's pretty short. That's pretty ridiculous. And here he is, also next to the Mafex Spider-Man. Okay, come on, stand up. Eh, we'll just leave it like that. But yeah, that's how he scales. I think he scales really well with him. Um, he doesn't scale side by side too great with the Mezco Superman. Again, I think I need to switch out. I'm going to customize him eventually. New suit, probably switch out the ankles for a little bit of a taller look to him and, and whatnot. And I just need to get the Mafex Superman. I think that might be my main Superman figure. So that's how he looks next to those two. And then for some bigger figures, we have the Marvel Legends Venom. I really love this guy. Really enjoy this. And the DC Multiverse um, Lex Luthor. I don't collect Multiverse. Um, there are a few figures I want to pick up because I think they, they'll still scale well with my other 6-inch figures. But uh, my friend Eric lent the or gave me this figure and an Ultraman figure, and I really, really enjoy them. So shout out to Eric. But this is how he scales with them. Um, good s scaling between these two. You know, obviously 
he's way too small for this Luthor, but um, still pretty cool. And, you know, I'm surprised how well he scales with everybody because usually Mafex figures are on the smaller side because they're import, but you know. And last but not least, got him next to the amazing Yamaguchi Captain America, and these two I think scale pretty well together. For you know, this one's obviously more stylized. You know, as you can see, get these up in the middle here. So, you know, I'm obviously expecting this one to, you know, not these two to not be perfectly in scale together, but they work well. And I think that you can pose them around and and uh, do some cool shots with them if you wanted these two to interact. So for my final thoughts on the Mafex Cyborg Superman, um, I think he's a really good figure. If you can pick him up at a decent price, I say go for it. You know, he's a really he's an essential to me for superman if you have a superman uh rogues gallery thing going on um he's really great to he's really great in terms of posing that the only defect i can find is that little smudge of paint on his s which you know i might get i'll get some model paint and everything and see if i can clean that up you know because i don't want to leave it a little dent but other than that really great figure i'm really happy with him and i look forward to posing him with the rest of my superman figures so that's it for me. As always, if you like what you see, go and hit subscribe. You can follow me on any of my social media networks. The links are in the description below. And uh, I look forward to seeing you guys around next time. Take care. Check this pimping, I'm just trying to find a piece like Olimar.